Hey everybody, Brandon Villarolo here for Tech Republic, and today I'm going to show you how to add uh, third-party cloud storage solutions to Microsoft Teams. So you can see here I've got Teams open, and I am in the, uh, the Files tab here on the left side. That's where you'll see, uh, you know, Teams files that you've been that our other team members are working on, downloads that you've uh, saved, and uh, by default OneDrive is added to Microsoft Teams. So uh, I don't have anything in my OneDrive, uh, but let's say I want to add another service. Right down at the bottom of the screen, you'll see here it says Add Cloud Storage. Just click on that, and you'll see four options. Dropbox, Box, Citrix Share File, and Google Drive. In this case, I'm going to add Google Drive because that's the one that I use. Uh, the process is fairly identical for all four services. So I'm going to click on Google Drive here. And it'll bring a pop-up like this where you'll see either, if you have a Google account connected to Teams, you might see it there. Otherwise, you'll probably see a screen that looks like this, which is just going to prompt you to add your email account there um, and then do a search for the account so you can sign in. I'm going to close that out really quick and retry this. Add Google Cloud Storage, Google Drive. And since my account is already connected, I'm just going to click on that. And so if you entered a password uh, and username for, for Google Cloud, you'd see this screen, that it wants to access your account. So you've got to basically allow it to see, edit, create, delete Google files, uh, associate personal file, you know, all the standard permissions you get from giving a third-party program access to uh, your Google Cloud storage. Uh, click Allow, and that will connect your Google Drive right there. You can see all my folders are here all my documents. Uh, it's a pretty nice and easy system and you can pretty much do everything you would do in Google Drive on the web or uh, the desktop version here in um, here in Microsoft Teams. You can do everything. I couldn't get it to allow me to create documents so the only thing you really can't do is create new documents. Other than that you can you know move folders, cop you know, copy things, delete them, open and edit them all inside Microsoft Teams which gives you a nice convenient interface so you can do everything you need to do uh, in your cloud storage system inside of Teams. Uh, if you want to remove a cloud storage that you've added, just go up here where those three little dots appear. Click on that and then just click on Sign Out and it will remove it um, from Teams. And then the next time you try to sign into it and, and re-add it, like you saw what I did in my example was my name came up. So it should cache you know, your, your user information so that you can just re-add it more easily. Uh, if you have to do it again next time. All right, for Tech Republic, I am Brandon Villarolo. Uh, thanks for watching, and be sure to stay tuned for more tips and tricks just like this one.